Welcome to Mighty House. This is a show for people with problems. Home improvement problems, that is. And for people who want common sense guidance on how to build green and live a more sustainable lifestyle. Send an email. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back. And today we got a little interesting topic. Rich was on a little vacation and has took some snapshot some snapshots of where were you in, venice in, in, in venice particularly you got some really cool pictures uh so we're going to go through that and see how people build in venice in the meantime hit that subscribe bu button dingle on the bell and then uh, that way we notify you next time we post a video so uh all right let's go ahead i'm going to do the share on the screen and let's go to screen one right there. Share. There it is. And there we go. Okay. So this is shot one, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So that was the first one I took because it was the first thing I ran into. And obviously it's appliance delivery day. Yes. Yes. Let, let's uh let's zoom in on that a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. But, well, so okay. So Everybody knows Venice has nothing but canals, right? Right. But even when I knew that, I assumed there must be a road somewhere. Sure. Yeah, roads that come in on the back sides of all these buildings, because this is just the right. side that I always thought the green canal went around the outside. And all. No, there's a major road that stops in front of Venice. That's where the train station is, the bus depot is, blah blah blah. After that, it's all by boat. Wow. So. If you're trying to build something in Venice or remodel your home or oh, get a new appliance, this <laughs> is it. Everything comes by boat. And I'm like, wow. So all the food is delivered that way to all the restaurants. Everything, everything. everything is on a boat. Everything's on a boat. So the appliance one I thought was cute, especially since the refrigerator is on its side and that yellow label probably says don't put it on its side. Exactly. But you know, how do you ship it on a boat? And the canals are like that water looks nice and smooth. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not. It's usually pretty wavy out there, you know. So okay. So how they get this boat in is this this looks like an archway. So they came in from the left and then yeah. docked up against there. Is that how they did that? Yes. And then the other thing in it is that people don't realize is that you so that's the bridge to get over this particular canal. Right. You see the little wing wall there? This here, yeah. Yeah, those are probably the stairs that lead to the landing that then goes to the arched bridge. Okay. So your appliances still need to go on a dolly, get drug up the steps, and then over the bridge if you live on the other side, you know, that kind of thing. Like, it's not very simple. <laughs> so then so I have no is... idea. Like, you could get a refrigerator for, say, 600 euros, and delivery is right. probably 700 euros. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea. I didn't get into the prices. My Italian's not that good. Right. But so, uh, we had a blast. So move along. But yeah, show some more pictures because it was just one after another, some uh, certain times where it was just really funny. So here's a guy who takes, you know, heavier loads. He literally has a crane built into the center of his boat and he spreads his loans around, his loads around. And, and a lot of those are actually bottled water, but a lot of them are also like those are, pro it's probably a pallet of tile and then thin set. Okay. So they'll literally put that pallet up on the, the, the deck there on the patio, whatever you want to call it, the piazza. Right. And then they literally hump it. They have porter services that you have to hire, you know, longshoremen. And, and that's how you get it from there to the job site. So they don't have little forklifts that they're running around to carry the load? No. Everything is manual labor. Wow. Yeah, it was... It was bizarre. <laughs> so, I mean, this one. And if you look across the way there, there's some of these houses you can't even like dock in front of them. They're just, they're right. No, there. some of them you actually can pull in. Oh. But yeah, the majority of them may have a dock, but you're absolutely correct. Some have no dockage. So you, you have to dock and then you walk to get to your house. Yes. And I'll assume that these 
these are like condo buildings then in the background? Some, some, one some are hotels, some are single family residences for very wealthy people. Um, but this boat here, this is when it's just servicing restaurants. So he's got pallets of water. And you can see he's got his little carts on his boat for moving the stuff. He's got a pallet jack. Yeah. And then you can't see it clearly, but that boat also has that crane so they can lift that whole pallet. They strap it and lift the whole pallet and set it in the boat. Yeah, you get that little orange there. Yeah, that's yeah. their Interesting. But I was in the way when I was taking this picture, so I had to move along. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Yeah, just more, you know, restaurant delivery. I mean, I don't know what's in all the boxes, but you see rolls of toilet paper and stuff in the back, and then he's got his carts. I mean, that's how they get it around. So they're just setting on the carts, lifting it up, and then towing it. Yeah, walk it through town. I mean, like I said, it's not like, you know, I, I imagine they figure out the easiest way, but, you know, most of the places, there's stairs and stuff. Oh, this, this one is cool. And so is... I can only assume that this is a barge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's got, it's got. Well, a barge, because he can haul stuff, right? So he's got a crane that he can load up onto his material onto his barge, whether it's lumber or piles or whatever, because remember the whole city's built on piles. Right. But here you got two Oshkosh concrete trucks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good job. So they're back to back pouring into the hopper. And like our trucks, we typically haul 10 yards. So this would be a 20 yard pour. I mean, I don't know what time you get to work, but you gotta, you know, get the trucks on the barge, barge the thing down, rip down the Grand Canal and then start pumping concrete. Very cool. So let's say the new Bauer is coming. Yeah, and the old Bauer, I think, is the statue in the cage behind that sign. Oh. There's, there's, no, there's a, right behind that sign, you can see there's a statue there, and they built scaffolding and mesh over it so that nothing fell and hurt him. Oh, while they were doing the construction. Yes. And if I remember right, that's just, a, it's another hotel. <laughs> and there's no such thing as a cheap hotel there. Incredible. Yeah. So this was just a photo of a potential client. <laughs> so the building on the left is still attached to the building that's got the yellow with the two windows. And I'll yep. assume that's plumb. But the building on the right, there's a bigger gap at the top than the bottom. Yeah. that, And it looks like it's got, maybe it's got a twist to it too. Yeah. You know, so that would tell me that the piles in the back right are starting to get really bad. Uh-huh. And this thing's starting to list. And just going down the Grand Canal, seeing that, I'm like, how would you like to have to be the guy to even think about bidding that? That's amazing. So what's up with these chimneys? Don't know. I mean, that, that looks like a huge, like, rain funnel. Doesn't it? I, and it makes me wonder if at one time they didn't use them as a rain funnel to catch rainwater and fill cisterns. But in all honesty, I don't know. Again, it, I never ran into anybody really working on a job that I could talk to. Huh. That's I'm sure if I went back and spent more time trying, I could probably do so. But I did right. really run into. So, and I don't know, I thought I sent you the picture too, but one of the funny ones was um, DHL has its own boat. Yeah, that so, was, that, I think that's all the pictures I've got. No, I thought I sent you that. But anyway, so there was a, it, it looked like the other boats, nothing different. But it was all painted yellow, said so DHL on the side, and it was just loaded with packages. <laughs> like, damn UPS got the same difference. <laughs> yeah, where's UPS? Nah, I didn't see a UPS one. No. No. And Amazon? No, nope, didn't see a Prime. Nothing Prime. <laughs> well, that's cool. Now, I'll tell you what, Venice was um, probably one of the coolest cities I've ever been in. Other than that whole the St. Mark's Square and all that or whatever, you know, where the piazza is that everybody goes to and stuff. It's just, that's just too crowded. It's beautiful too, but it's just crowded. 
I would go back to Venice in a heartbeat. But yeah, I just thought it was amazing when you start really knowing what we have to deal with, with the logistics of whether it's trust delivery or whatever it might be. Right. And then just multiply it exponentially because everything comes by boat to some dock over on one side of the of Venice on the island and it gets, has to be transported all around. Yeah. I mean, and then these buildings are hundreds of years old, some of them, right? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they, I mean, Venice was a good port of the, the Renaissance of 1450. So, right. I mean, you're talking 900 years old. Right. That's just incredible. They did a pretty good job. I mean, look at, look at even in that picture, just some of the carvings over the doors, they're weathering, but it's. Yeah. Maybe 600 years. Absolutely. Crazy. I never could find anybody to ask, but you notice they all have shutters. Yeah, this well, and there's no windows. Well, they're not. Well, they do have windows, but those are not decorative shutters. They're all built like heavy duty storm shutters. And I mean, obviously, where I live, we get hurricanes. I've never thought of Venice as getting hurricanes, but they must get some really bad nor'easters or something. Yeah. Yeah. But we were there. It was like Florida hot. We felt right at home. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 84 85 every day right that's good that's all right well uh yeah, that's my, my um my bid on venice okay that's good so if you're going to take a trip to venice you can uh you can drop us a note rich will give you uh some tips on places to go if you want uh so you can leave a note below all right so with that say keep it square level until next time. Until next time.